Mars on a festive to Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> Star. Oh, sacrificial sword. That's one. Ay, uh, dala. Anyway, <laughs> uh, hello guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Uh, I'm, this video is not supposed to be about Gacha Yoimiya. <laughs> I actually wanted to do this event. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Fabulous Fungus Frenzy. Act 1. I thought, uh, I heard it's a. Uh, story story by itself not just some event so why not just do this uh? you're not sure what to do next how about i take you on a walk all right let's go back to sumeru let's see what this is about Interested in capturing well-behaved fungi and getting up close and personal with them? Want to try commanding fungi in combat and experience the thrill of defeating powerful opponents? Excited about forming your very own fungi team? Face off against beast tamers in an action-packed battle? Look for no <laughs> Nylet Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament Basically Pokemon Interested in capturing monsters and get up Close and personal, commanding monsters in combat, my own monster team, and battle other trainers. Uh, <laughs> it's basically Pokemon, ah, lama. If you just change the words, training fungi to fight each other. Mm -hmm. Look, fungi are monsters. Exactly. Maybe it isn't. It's Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> the most fantastic tournament you've never heard of. We have uh, in a different, different kind of uh, game, not this. Okay, Nylet Pala Cup. Hey, where is it? Oh, port almost. Okay, let's see. Uh. Shadi. I don't think it's you. The dot was uh for the <laughs> lama. I got. I thought it was her. Okay. Oh, this. Hmm. Welcome, contestants, Cotillia. to the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Cautilia, 
a senior Immorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not! The wisdom ore we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Immorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Hmm. Also, it gives All me right. great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen. A businessman from Fontaine. from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our Damn. prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. Wow. The only other condition million. is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event. Just like that. And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, Hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I <laughs> uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thing is? I'm just the prize money. <laughs> What if it works really well? What would you do to the fungi? Although they've caused this trouble <laughs> in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters. They're right? just Pokemon. <laughs> Wisdom orb, eh? Okay, talk to Susan. Huh? Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? You know us? Golden what? Comet, What's Silver Companion. <laughs> The posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh, Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills so we can't use our here. fighting skills. The is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. I play Pokemon, so Pokemon Go some more. <laughs> for being a beast tamer so they got me involved with testing the wisdom orb early on anyway my name ain't worth remembering i'm just an illiterate nobody all i'm good for is doing odd jobs for aramite mercs just think of me as another contestant i do have a lot of experience taming beasts though want me to teach you mm. you guys are worth me getting to know as allies or opponents because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blank. But <laughs> also honest. honest. Yep. It's definitely better to have an expert. 
expert teach us then figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, I guess what do you we think? Should... should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? Okay. Didn't think this Pokemon event would be such a big deal. This is where you'll <laughs> capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the Wisdom Orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. Ooh, there's Hydro and Electro types. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. So there's a Pokeball. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1. Which means Pyro, Pyro fungus number one. <laughs> you just go out their elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Pine Man. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shrimp? Pine Man is the best at coming up with names. <laughs> also, I have suggestions if you're interested. Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider them. Okay, how do we catch this wisdom orb? I guess I'll equip this. All right. Uh, go to the fungi catching zone. Capture fungi. Uh, fungi will run the capture zone. If you are detected as you approach them, they will enter alert and flee a certain distance. So you have to sneak and catch. The gadget known as the Wisdom Orb, when equipped, will change your elemental skill to the capture skill. Oh, okay. Hold to aim and use capture. So it's like the net as well. When the capture skill hits a fungus, it will add your capture progress. That's a capture progress? After fungi within the capture zone are affected, by Electro, they will enter an activated state, yes. Movement speed will increase. And the, the rate, the capture progress will also increase. If they are affected by Pyro, they will enter a special scorch state, their movement speed will decrease. And their rate of capture will also be decreased. It's like the Safari Zone in Pokemon. Once the capture progress reaches maximum, the fungus can be captured and you can name said fungus based on Parma suggestions. We can't rename our own. <laughs> okay. What kind of element should I catch? Use the wisdom or Okay, yeah, hydro and electro, okay. Um, This is... Yep, it's the same. Okay. I'm not sure if this works from here. Or do I have to go closer, but... No. Allah. Okay, that wasn't working. Alright. There we go. Now I need to catch the hydro one right there. Missed. Did not see me yet. Why am I missing? Gonna flee. Huh. 
Yeah, I got him. Okay. <laughs> this fungus is super tall and can use electro. Electril, Tingle Shroom, Storm Lord. <laughs> uh, I can decide later or sounds about right. Uh, Storm Lord, Electril. This one should be okay. Bonk. I guess we've got no choice. All three are bongo head. Are you kidding me? We got no choice to pick. Ella. Sure. Yeah, the three suggestions are the same. What the hell? The round hat on this little guy's head yeah. kind of looks like a drum, don't you think? The first thing that came to Paimon's mind when she saw it was, if you hit it on the head, it's definitely going to go bing bong. <laughs> How does the name bongo head sound? Hmm. Optimistic. Oh, look how happy it looks. <laughs> that means it likes the name. All right. <laughs> Aww, Bongo Head's just like a little puppy. Paimon's never seen this side of a fungus before. From now on, we need to look out for each other, Bongo Head. Okay, let's go catch some more fungi and make a team for Bongo Head. You make a team. You need to catch more? How much? Oh, wait, you have to go. Oh, it's further. Uh, hold on. Before we go. Well, I guess this is the location to see you can catch them here. Alright, let me check the event. Uh, prepare for tournament. Okay, this is done. Second one, capture a stretchy geo and a whirling cryo. Still in progress, okay. This one not unlocked yet. This one also not unlocked. Okay. So there's like 10 different fungi. Alright. <laughs> Literally Pokemon, man. But the Pokedex is only 10. <laughs> For now. Okay, so... I see them both there. Can I catch one here? Yes. There we go, we got one. Where's the other one? Uh, there we go. Uh, this is the Geo one. Eh? Stout Waist, Hard Hat, Crusher Basher. <laughs> uh, Crusher Basher. Heavy hit can't hurt his speed. Hard hat. The way it moves make Crusher Batcher a perfect name. Alright, sure. This is the cryo one. Uh cool shroom. Cool it. <laughs> cool it. <laughs> what is this? Kaya Kaya skill. Cool it. Cool shroom. Pull it down. <laughs> it's four down. Great, you've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Hyman can't believe we're making progress so quickly. It's all thanks to your help, Hania. All right, let's all return to the arena now. Staggering along with the fungus running circles around 
Layla, that's Layla. I don't think she's being attacked. I think that's her fungi that she caught. She's collapsed. Let's go see what's happening. Let's take a look. And <laughs> the fun guys are full of. Layla already in game before the banner. Are mm -hmm. you hurt? How bad is it? Oh. No, we're not fighting. Pyro one, take it out. Hold up. Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oh, tournament. it's just got one so far. Shroom buddies. <laughs> you mean you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Twirly Whirly. <laughs> this is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. <laughs> uh, your shroom buddies We're better than that You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena So we can compete against each other properly Hania over here is a professional beast tamer And despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors She still gave us lots of help and advice Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> Take it as a compliment State your name and mission Golden Comet and Silver Companion Should gladly come <laughs> Yeah, Layla. My name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa Starshan, so I don't have Starshan. any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to uh, uh to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them too. Oh yeah, Pina read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists. Can we really bring them back to the teapot? That would be cool. Like, what do you mean physical labor? You're a student! Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? <laughs> uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but uh, uh, so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching <laughs> things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to him all the time. God damn it. First she calls them buddies. Then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like El Hinkin. Huh? El Hinkin? What, what's that about? Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Hania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Hania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? Guess we'll see her again. That beast tamer. Hmm. Is she Maybe? Angry? But not sure why. Hmm. Probably not. She's pretty well, she was and doesn't a bit. make a great first impression. <laughs> but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Yeah, we might see her again. Now we help Layla. Sure Layla gets to uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. 
Find three more shoes. Okay, we don't have to catch it uh, again. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Now that we put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part. Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them. Return to the Night Palak Cup Arena. Back to Port Olmos. I didn't expect this. I thought it was just gonna be a simple event where I don't even need to make a video of it. <laughs> but we get to see Layla. And who else? Yay, Miko! What sure is enough, she doing here? You're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. <laughs> uh, Miko, what are you doing here? Is Paimon this is losing any? <laughs> this tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Does that mean even Monstat and Liwek people might come here too? Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? <laughs> Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry. So we decided to bring our up-and-coming author Soka here to Soka. gather some inspiration. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think yeah, it's I mean, rather Yaimiko good. Has her own Pokemon. Very distinctive. <laughs> Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're said to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor. <laughs> For the sake of my readership, I won't back down. I'll beat, beat you. Yeah, just because you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Ooh, yes, <laughs> more of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your arch enemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my my mind. <laughs> hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material too. She's terrifying. <laughs> but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. And who is this softly spoken little Layla. lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. She just wants to reach quarterfinals. Training <laughs> fungi and then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. You want to make it like Pokemon here, really? <laughs> I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that, traveler, Paimon. I really appreciate all your help, but I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't push yourself too hard, Layla! You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again! Miko, what are you 
What are you really doing in Sumeru? What's going on behind the scenes of this tournament? I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype, and you're not just in this to have some fun. There is something going on. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Hmm. Kojiyahe, what an honor to finally meet you. Ah, Kojiyahe. We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman uh -huh. is here too. Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed. Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one on one? How you jest, Gujiyai! Though such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of, um... Situation of what? Ahem. <clears throat> right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner. Oh, Much yeah, as he's you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. <laughs> I'm thinking the real reason Yaimiko is here. So that we will pull her later in her band. <laughs> also, Why else? to have the renowned uh. traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Okay. Miko, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Mm -hmm. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Potential liabilities. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? Yeah. Unlike Pokemon, you just like, don't care. <laughs> so it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event. But the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved. Like our bongo head here. Seems we don't <laughs> need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. I think it's bongo head well, just because they want to use that name on the dialogue. As a contestant, <laughs> I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. But Zara, say goodbye to our friends. <laughs> Coming here with a great idea! It's so Look at cool, us, man. making Having... friends, bumping into Miko! Okay, oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! Come on, let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested! 
Okay. Floral jelly. Um, how far is it? I think teleport will be faster. Oops. <laughs> What is this? Oh, okay. Thought there was something in the water. Bow four. Ah, the champions to be here at long champions last. To be. <laughs> Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are hmm. singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all. So, how do you do this? During the coruscating potential challenge, you must use floral jellies to form blends that your fungi enjoy. Once they have absorbed them, they will awaken their potential. Okay, you switch to exchange the positions. So just exchange them. Is oh, okay, let's rotate as well. I was thinking. Rotate like this is like only Musha puzzle like that. <laughs> Alright, so you can rotate or switch. Yep. Uh, train. Let's see. Fungi skill. Aqua strike. Water bomb bubbly prison. <laughs> so far, this Pokemon Bongo hit has three moves. Aqua strike got the other two, not yet. Okay, so cultivate. Um, I can rotate. Wait. How do you rotate? I feel like I should rotate this two times. But then that will go up. Yeah. And then switch with this. There we go. Three moves. <laughs> Unlock. Water bomb and special skill bubbly prison. Okay, already got three moves. All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is easy. <clears throat> copy. Oh, so it's not everything same. Use copy to directly copy the color of the floral jelly into other jelly. Oh, that's new. Okay. So there is no uh, switch, now it's copy. Well, we need one red and there's extra green. If I want to rotate... Hmm... Well, I think we can do three moves uh, again. Copy and this one, and then uh, this one rotate, and also rotate. There we go, three moves again. <laughs> Flashing bolt resonator. Alright. Crush the bash. Oh, yeah, this one, the Geo one. Any. 
I can copy two and switch and rotate. Oh, I can do a lot. Okay. Green, I need two. Um, orange, there's an extra one. Blue, there's an extra one. Hmm. I need to do two copies. Eh? One orange, one blue. Alright. I feel like... I should rotate this and then okay and then and then I copy this and copy this there you go hmm, that's five moves eh? <laughs> And last one. Cool it. <laughs> Alamak. Okay. Use preset to place a pre existing formula directly onto a correspond. Oh, cool. Okay. Preset. Oh, so you put the preset on somewhere. Purple, purple, red, yellow. Hmm. Okay, there's no rotate at all, Alma. Uh, there's only switch. Eh? Wow, if there's only switch, then. The only thing that makes sense would be adding the preset right now, put them here, and then I'll have three yellows, three reds, yeah, add. And then I switch this with this, and switch this with this. Oh, three moves only. All right. Done. just uh, ask a few questions. <laughs> Floral jelly. And the competition. Okay. Alright. And just goodbye. Alright. Okay. Prepare for tournament. We have already done part two and part three. Part three, no. We need to catch a dendro and a pyro. Okay. 
Awaken, okay, we did this. That's a lot. We did seven moves. Seven? I did that in three. <laughs> Guess I already used to that kind of puzzle. <sighs> Alright, I see. Where do you exchange this stuff? Mushroom currency, where do you use that? Event shop. Ah. Well, um, wisdom art model. The others are just Mora and Fragments. This is something else. Oh, the medal. Okay. Talent books and medal are uh, found. Alright, alright. Did we just do the story first? What do we need to do now? So I think catching the rest, I can do it my own time. This is for the video. Eh? <laughs> Your elemental skill will change the focus attack command. Focus attack. Command all the fungi to attack a target. Select the fung. Wait, click on the corresponding button or avatar. And select the fungus to unleash its skill. Okay. Each of your fungi can use its skill a limited number of times. Pick up plauditory potations to increase the number of users their skills have. Okay. We're really gonna fight a lot watcher. Coordinate the assault, you must command your fungi to destroy three zones held by your opponents. The less time the fewer fungi you lose, the higher your battle score you'll be. You must command your fungi to defend the Lilai Monoli Wow. Okay. Alright, well, uh, wait till the next morning. This is for the second day. Hold on. Ha! Huh. Okay. This is what the match will look like until the finals. Oh, someone's there. Who is that? Uh, okay, can't, can't tell who is it. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm guessing this is Act 2 now? Yeah, this is Act 2. Okay. Um, for event, I'll do it myself. I'll do whatever the story quest asks me to do. Eh? So I think I'll continue with Act 2 straight away. Might as well. I'll do this when I have time. <laughs> Wait, 8 to 10. Isn't it 8? Ah, uh, next morning. What timing? So yeah, finish up both straight away. Uh, act 1 and 2. I don't know how many acts are there. This is just the second day of the event. And there's already Act 2. Just curious. Okay, there it is. Act 2. Oops, sorry. I need to see... Oh! So this is where I get Dory, okay. Championship progress. How do I know how many acts are these? Can't tell, eh? <laughs> Anyway, what were you saying, Paimon? Paimon, what did you say? <laughs> Allah, okay. Let's go to the arena. Why, why did I just teleport? Allah. <coughs> oh, excuse me.
gentlemen, the Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition. I never tried a battle yet. <laughs> this is gonna be my first time doing a battle with the fungi. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. <laughs> this is just a sport, not a fight to the death. I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. <laughs> People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast Basically, taming Pokemon. can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Ohinian is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. What, Cartilia? Cartilia, on the other hand. Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cartilia, <laughs> everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Uh, good thing Alhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. <laughs> Sino? Ooh, what are you doing here, Sino? I think he's interested as well. Participate in the competition. Let's go. I don't know if I'm ready. Ag Agilena Dash. Uh, okay, Fungi on standby. There's six there, eh, but I only have four. Start match. Well, four v four. Funga archive. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't have the rest yet. I haven't done ex. Uh, the other stuff. Straight away, I'm playing second part. Let's go. Four v four. It's time for trainer battle. <laughs> Defeat your opponents. <laughs> this really feels like Pokemon. Uh, didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Alright. I hope I won't mess up here. Do I need to throw some. Thing. Oh shit, I think there they are. Fight, that one. Do I need to collect something for Oh yeah, these things. Okay. I'm gonna focus in. Okay. Use that one. Nice, a bit more. Focus on that. Use the skill. Nice. <laughs> well, that was it. That wasn't so bad. And everyone else too. Now, how can my swift fighting style fail? Everyone, retreat now. The four of them are down. 
Okay. That was the first uh, battle. That was fun. <laughs> Four of them fight at once. Eh? It's not like Pokemon where it's one per one. <laughs> that takes very slow. <laughs> you want to have a try at fighting? Uh, that's not what Paimon meant. Paimon just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. Oh, it'd be great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo Head. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. That's why it's so important to develop close hey, connections Hey, I need to. And teammate. looks like another... <laughs> Oh, it's Dana. How's it going for you so far? Turly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. <laughs> when I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away so like the one. a ghost. <laughs> Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth. So but mine was one. rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? <laughs> I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds. Mm, so away. we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game. Alright, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock. Let's get to it! Oh, wow. Training location, okay. Wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable <laughs> snacks. Yay! Snack time! Snack time! Wait a second. I yeah, we're training. training though. Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you. The dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Mm -hmm. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine if all the traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just <laughs> to watch you send mitochondrials flying. Buff one. <laughs> Would you gladly comply? I should be the name of the Paimon buff. I don't know. Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! That's exactly what it, the fungi will feel, I guess. See? You and he have a very strong bond. But that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. That's true. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay Ooh. tamed or not. Ah, that might that would be a risk if you decide to turn it off. Hmm, but that... That's a good uh, analogy there. Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes mm. me feel like I'm 
Giving orders. Ah, huh, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Yeah. Uh, is that really a good idea? It's like releasing them from their Pokeball. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Alright, anything goes bad? Uh, you have to turn it on back again, I guess. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before. Nice. Perhaps they already the become wisdom allies orbs then. technology <laughs> doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the Coming fungi's temperaments. Calming hmm, them down yeah. so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be, be able so to cool. freely communicate without using the wisdom orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. friendship. I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, <laughs> then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. I'm the one that can the real bongo head too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Ooh. Will it be safe? Or... Let's see. What makes the wisdom orb so effective? Buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. <laughs> You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> Bongo Head is a floating hydrofungus, is always playing in the water. Right! Paimon almost forgot! Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Okay. Do we get to follow our fungi? Bongo now? Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's that? Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Uh-oh. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! Guess not everyone has uh, their fungi to be friendly. Don't tell me how to battle. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, it's Hania. Oh no, it's just the kids that. What are you doing here? Cause Hania. <laughs> Hania? Yeah. You saved the children? Oh. I happen to be nearby. Okay, the Hania saved were them. The mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. The children were mimicking what they seen the contestants doing. Oh, okay. That's so dangerous. Yeah, that is dangerous. Why are they trying to approach you wild fungi orb. without a wisdom orb? It's like Pokemon. You can't just go in the wild when you don't have a Pokeball. <laughs> it's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelid polycup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. Mm. 
Yeah, trying to solve one problem is create another. I'm putting an end to this debacle. First chance I get. Hmm. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. Ooh, okay. I see what Hanyi has uh, on to, but why so... What are you talking about, Hanyi? So... Exterminating fungi? <laughs> Well, he, she even gave a name Pyro 1. Is that, yeah, it's just her first Pyro. You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. Are you? I'm quite certain Pyro 1 would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. Well, we turn off our gadget. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our wisdom orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! She made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to I have a feeling we will battle her in the final or something. <laughs> Nico? Leila? Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Yes. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. Mm, yeah. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. She has some bad experience with fungi. Yep. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment. But some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature. Yeah, just like any wild just animal. like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures. No matter what Ania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you, but I hear she's <laughs> one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania really? came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifier should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stage. Okay, we turn to the arena. Can I just teleport here? Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to always walk <laughs> to that spot all right i have to go there match is not starting okay. all So far, we haven't seen any monster for the uh, audience leave like comments and interact <laughs> with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Hyman thinks that's a great idea. You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But 
but I'm from the Ritawaha Starshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amor Different Starshan. disciplines will support. But maybe one's will trash is another will's treasure. Hmm. Yeah! You can provide the information to a mark to students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Trade royalties! <laughs> Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, It'll make my life a whole lot easier. I would have to buy hundreds of different things and get Twirly Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it <laughs> makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Okay. Sino subordinate. Does that mean he's observing the arena? Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Remaining 32. 32 left. Okay. Huh? We'll be facing Soka next. Oh. Been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please, do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Act 2 complete. Alright, Act 2 wasn't so long. I, I guess because I was like, understanding the event. And I think Act 3 is not available yet. Yeah. I need to know when is the Act 3. <laughs> but okay. Interesting. I can't wait to see how this uh, ends. And uh, before I end. 389. Come on, last two. Gah. Please. Five star. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Allah. Alright, well, I guess I'm done here. To be continued, I don't know how many eggs are there. Three or four, or what? Ah, during the first four days of the a new fungus stage will unlock. So there is four days. That means four acts. Two new special training stages will open on the first five days. These are event stuff, right? Okay. Oh, this fungus capture stage. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how many acts are there. But okay, I'm done for Act 1 and Act 2. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.